Welcome to TTN Running Channel, where we discuss everything related to running. Today's topic is running for women's health, tips and techniques. Running is a great way to improve cardiovascular health, burn calories, and reduce stress. However, many women struggle to get started with running or have difficulty maintaining a regular running routine. In this video, we will discuss tips and techniques to help women start running and improve their running skills. Running offers numerous health benefits for women. Here are some of the top benefits. Improves cardiovascular health. Running is an excellent way to improve cardiovascular health. It strengthens the heart, increases lung capacity, and improves blood flow throughout the body. Helps with weight loss. Running is a great way to burn calories and lose weight. According to the American Council on Exercise, running burns approximately 10 calories per minute for an average person. Reduces stress. Running can reduce stress and anxiety levels. It releases endorphins, which are natural mood boosters. Boosts self-confidence. Running can boost self-confidence by helping women feel better about their bodies and their abilities. Starting a running routine can be intimidating, especially if you have never run before. Here are some tips to help you get started. Invest in a good pair of running shoes. A good pair of running shoes is essential for reducing the risk of injury and ensuring comfort while running. Look for shoes with good arch support and cushioning. Start slow. It's important to start slow and gradually increase the intensity and duration of your runs. Start with a 10 to 15 minute walk and gradually incorporate short runs. Use a running app. Running apps can be a great tool for tracking your progress and staying motivated. Some popular running apps include Couch to 5K, Nike Run Club, and Strava. Find a running buddy. Having a running buddy can help you stay accountable and motivated. Look for a friend or join a local running group. Once you've established a running routine, it's important to focus on improving your running techniques. Here are some techniques to consider. Proper breathing. Breathing properly while running can help reduce fatigue and improve performance. Breathe deeply through your nose and mouth, and try to match your breaths to your strides. Good posture. Maintaining good posture while running can help reduce the risk of injury and improve performance. Keep your shoulders relaxed, chest lifted, and head up. Foot strike. There are three types of foot strikes while running. Heel strike, midfoot strike, and forefoot strike. Each has its advantages and disadvantages, but most experts recommend a midfoot strike as it puts less stress on the knees and ankles. Cadence. Cadence refers to the number of steps you take per minute while running. A higher cadence can help reduce the risk of injury and improve running efficiency. Aim for a cadence of 170 to 180 steps per minute. Running injuries are common, especially among new runners. Here are some common injuries and how to prevent them. Shin splints. Shin splints are a common injury caused by overuse of the shin muscles. To prevent shin splints, make sure to stretch before and after running, wear proper shoes, and gradually increase the intensity and duration of your runs. Runner's knee. Runner's knee is a condition that causes pain around the kneecap. To prevent runner's knee, focus on proper running techniques, wear proper shoes, and avoid overtraining. Strengthening the quadriceps and hip muscles can also help prevent runner's knee. Plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis is a condition that causes pain in the heel or bottom of the foot. To prevent plantar fasciitis, wear proper shoes with good arch support, stretch before and after running, and gradually increase the intensity and duration of your runs. Achilles tendonitis. Achilles tendonitis is a condition that causes pain and swelling in the Achilles tendon. To prevent Achilles tendonitis, make sure to stretch before and after running, wear proper shoes, and gradually increase the intensity and duration of your runs. Proper nutrition and hydration are essential for running and overall health. Here are some tips for fueling your body while running. Hydrate properly. It's important to stay hydrated while running. Make sure to drink plenty of water before, during, and after your runs. Fuel properly. Eating a balanced diet with plenty of carbohydrates, protein, and healthy fats can help fuel your runs and improve your overall health. Timing is key. Timing your meals and snacks before and after your runs can help improve performance and recovery. Aim to eat a small meal or snack with carbohydrates and protein about 2 hours before your run, and eat a meal with carbohydrates and protein within 30 minutes after your run. Staying motivated can be a challenge, especially as you progress in your running routine. Here are some tips to help you stay motivated. Set goals. Setting goals can help give you something to work towards and keep you motivated. Make sure your goals are specific, measurable, and achievable. Mix it up. Doing the same thing every day can get boring. Mix up your routine by trying different routes, adding in some strength training, or trying a new running app. Reward yourself. Celebrate your accomplishments by rewarding yourself with something you enjoy, like a massage or a new running outfit. 
In conclusion, running is an excellent way for women to improve their health and well-being. By starting slow, focusing on proper running techniques, and fueling your body with proper nutrition and hydration, you can enjoy the numerous benefits of running. Remember to stay motivated, set goals, and reward yourself along the way. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, so we can stay connected. Have a great day and lots of running fun. Remember, running changes people, and people change the world.